Hi, welcome back to Sweet Eats with Julie. Today we are making pineapple banana bread. So to start off with, we have one stick of butter, one cup of sugar, two eggs, one ripe banana, a third cup of crushed pineapple, half cup of flaked coconut, two cups of gluten-free flour, half teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. All right, so let's get started. Take a medium-sized bowl, add our butter, add our sugar, mix this up, and then what we're gonna do is add each egg one at a time. And what we're looking for, guys, it's just a smooth consistency. So it should look something like this. Work, 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 work. You send me every work, 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 work. So for our next step, what we're gonna do is add our fruit ingredients. Take your fork and just mash that baby up. So now that we have our banana mashed up like baking food, we're gonna add it into the mixture. Our crushed pineapples, our coconut flakes. We're gonna mix that up. Before we add the last of our ingredients, what we're gonna do is take our baking soda and salt and add it to our gluten-free flour so we can get an even mixture. and we'll add it to our wet ingredients now. Add the flour slowly. Okay, so the reason why we do this is because we want a nice, clean, smooth mixture. We wanna make sure that our mixture is clump free. So your end result should look something like this. It is going to be a little clumpy, and the reason why is because we have the coconut flakes in there. Take a nine by five bread pan, spray it with cooking spray, and add your mixture in. And now we're ready for the oven. Remember, before you bake, preheat your oven to 350. So now that we've taken it out of the oven, what we're gonna do is let it cool for 10 minutes in the pan, and then we'll transfer it to a plate. So here we have our finished pineapple and banana bread. I like to serve mine with fresh fruit. Now let's try a piece. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe and follow me on social media. Until next time, guys.